becoming a live day four. I kind of look like an angel with the light coming from the window, don't I? And um, I'm sitting on my friend's steps that where I nanny the baby's asleep. So I'm making these videos today all about how God is a promise keeper. And I want to be a promise keeper and I want to be someone who when I make a promise, I follow through. But it's not always um, the case because as humans, we... Sorry, I got distracted. Look how fun these earrings are. They're coffee cups. My friend Brittany gave them to me. Anyways, um, that was so professional, guys. Um, as humans, we make promises, but we don't always fulfill the promises that we make. But guess what? We have a God who is a promise keeper. And the Christmas story that, that you're coming alive as you study and as you ponder the Christmas story, um, the fact is he is a promise keeper and Jesus coming to earth was a fulfillment of promises from long ago. And um, I've been studying Isaiah because for a Bible study that I'm writing and um, just so sweet to see all those promises through, that were fulfilled from prophets long before Jesus walked on earth because God knew he was a promise keeper and that he is faithful. And that is such a rock that we get to stand on because his word is full of promises for you and for me. Acts um, 13, 23 is, um, it says, and this is, um, they were kind of defending um, the story of the gospel. And it says, of man's offspring, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. And then this next part says, as he promised. And that just makes me want to shout glory. As he promised. This was not an unexpected thing. This was not a surprise. Oh, I've decided I want to save mankind. This was planned from the moment creation fell in Genesis chapter 3 when Adam and Eve decided to sin and disobey God. God had a plan set in place for a Messiah who is going to rescue his people, us, from our sins, from our um, inability to have a relationship with him. And he is faithful to those promises, and he did it just as he promised. And um, in Isaiah 7, he said, the virgin will bear a son. Isaiah 9 tells us all these ways that, that Jesus would be um, coming as the mighty counselor, the prince of peace. Um, and we're going to study that later. But the main thing I want you to think about today and to get excited about is he's a promise keeper. Everything in the story of the Christmas story is a reminder that God is fulfilling his promise, did fulfill his promise, and keeps promising to fulfill what he said. He says he'll never leave us. He says he's with us. He says he forgives us. He says who we are in Christ. He declares our identity. He is the rock we stand on. His word never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Woo! Glory, I'm preaching. He's a promise keeper, and he's fulfilling his promises in you, for you, um, that he has written a just for you to know he is working out his glory story in your story. Come alive, trusting the promise keeper in the Christmas story today.